I'm here with Dan Maschek at HPE Discover, and you're helping HPE do some cool stuff with drones. Can you talk about that? Yes, uh, at some point we're using our initiative to use the UAV drones to help us uh, look at our power lines. Uh, in the old days, I hate to say old days, it was probably a few months ago, uh, we used to physically walk the lines. And we would look up at the insulators, the transformers, see if a power is down, if vegetation was there. Well, now that drones have become more commercial and able to be commoditized, uh, we're looking to leverage that technology to fly the lines. And we're leveraging LiDAR, uh, infrared, high definition video to look at it at a more granular level. Now with that, that's just a video. Uh, where we're tying in with HP is we're going to use our edge line compute. We're going to put it in the back of our utility truck. And now that UAV drone is going to send that data to that uh, server. And that server is going to crunch those numbers and also cut a service ticket. I, I imagine like if it's a human that's like driving along in a truck looking at the line saying is things okay. They're making all, all the computes happening inside their brain to make a decision about do I need to report something or do I not need to report something. Yeah. So. That, that's a pretty, and, and then they're making whatever report they're making. So that's kind of like a, a real-time feedback loop in, in the brain. How are you accomplishing that with like, say, a drone and video and compute? Because the, you got to extract the right information from the video that the drone is capturing. Our case studies that we're working on right now are our insulators, our transformers. We have the video of what a good transformer looks like and a good insulator. And we're just building that model so when it flies by, it's going to tag it as red it's bad, green that it's good, and it's gonna fly down. What we're really trying to do is maximize the time that the drone is up in the air, because uh, as it is right now, it has a lot of data. And if it flies with all that, it's gonna be flying for five or 10 minutes. And what we're really trying to do is return to operations as quickly as possible. Uh, also, one of the center point core values is safety. And if, if you don't know about Houston too much, we flood very often, might have heard about Hurricane Harvey. Yep. Uh, so from a safety aspect, it's easier for us to fly a drone in that water filled area to where we don't have to worry about electricity. So again, we're looking at a safety aspect, quicker return to operation, kind of like our model, we're always there. So, so really you're looking at uh, kind of the, the world where a drone can go where a human can't even reasonably safely go. Yes, that's correct. And one, another one, this is gonna sound crazy. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, San Francisco bridge, you know, the, the day one they start painting it and they paint it all the way and it takes a year to do it. And then after that, they repaint it again. Well, we also paint our, our electrical towers as well too. And in order for us to sign the contract, well, we got to inspect it. Well, nobody's going to climb the top of that tower to say, okay, you painted the top of the tower. So, but that drone, since like you said, it's safe for that drone to fly at the top. I'm like, okay, yep, check the block. We, we uh, painted the top of the tower. So, so you're increasing uh, employee safety, I assume. Yeah. And you're also probably getting um, a, a lot of cost savings. Yes, uh, and also we're getting some cost savings and some efficiency. Uh, where we were talking about that uh, UAV drone, that was a four-man operation. I had one person that flew the drone, one person that was looking out to see that, okay, you're not going to hit a tree or something like that. And then we had two linemen, and one of them was pretty much coaxing the person that was flying the drone, like, okay, I need you to get closer to this part further away. And the other lineman was actually doing the inspection at the time. So now we're cutting that four-man crew to just two, because now all it is is I need somebody to fly that drone and somebody to just make sure it doesn't hit anything. Wow. That's, uh, that's impressive. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Dan. Well, thank you.